Hello, welcome Hello, back welcome to back our next video. Today, we discuss the concept of foreign trade multiplier. So, I'll be explaining the concept and also we see how the, the uh, formula for the same is derived. Let's understand, uh, first of all, what foreign trade multiplier is. This concept is also known as export multiplier and this operates like the investment multiplier of cakes. The concept is defined as the amount by which the national income of a country would be increased by a unit increase in the domestic investment on exports. We know that as export increases, there is an increase in the income of all the persons who are associated with the export industries. So this in turn would lead to creation of uh, demand for commodities. But this is dependent upon the marginal propensity to save as well as marginal propensity to import, which is indicated by MPS as well as MPM respectively. The smaller these two concepts, that means the marginal propensities are to save as well as marginal propensity to import, we can see the larger would be the value of multiplier and vice versa. <clears throat> How does foreign trade multiplier work? This concept or the process of foreign trade multiplier could be explained like this. Just suppose that the export of a country is increasing or it, uh, it increases. Okay. <clears throat> to begin with, exporters would sell their products to foreign countries and they would be receiving more income from foreigners. In order to meet foreign demand, what they do is that they would engage in more factors of production to produce more and more commodities. When I say more and more commodities, a more, more and more commodity which we discuss in the question. So, as a result of this, this would increase the income of the owners of factors of production who are engaged in the production of the commodity in the question. This process would continue and the national income would increase by the value of the multiplier. The value of the multiplier is something which depends upon MPS as well as MPM. This is something which we have already discussed and as a result, we can see that there is an inverse relation between the two propensities and the export multiplier. The foreign trade multiplier could be derived algebraically like this. We know the national income identity of an open economy, which is indicated by y is equal to c plus i plus g plus x minus m, where y is your national income. That means that the income of your nation, c is the consumption, uh, I stands for investment, G stands for government expenditure and X minus M. Uh, here X stands for exports and M stands for imports. From this relationship, we can see that just, um, just take away the government expenditure uh, or just mix it with the consumption expenditure or investment expenditure or both of this in order to make uh, uh, the consumption expenditure, investment expenditure, government expenditure combined or just combine the government expenditure along with consumption expenditure or income and, uh, investment expenditure because you know that whenever the government incurs some expenditure, it is mainly, uh, uh, it is either for uh, some uh, activities that might lead to increase in consumption or investment. So you are clubbing the government expenditure together with co either consumption or investment. So we, uh, from now onwards, we are not bringing the government expenditure into picture as such. Okay, that doesn't mean that government expenditure is taken away completely. It is implied. With that assumption, we know that C plus I plus X minus M, that is your Y. When you subtract your consumption expenditure from your eco, what you get is I plus X minus M, that is investment plus your net exports, which is uh, indicated by X minus M, that is export minus imports. We know that Y minus C stands for saving, that is indicated by S. So S is equal to uh, uh, investment plus X minus M or net exports. Also, we know that S is equal to Y minus C, right? So Yes, from the uh, identity which we have stated above, we could derive an, another equation which is indicated by S plus M is equal to I plus X. So, 
we know that at equilibrium levels of income the sum of the savings and imports which is indicated by s plus m must be equal to the sum of investment as well as export that is i plus x in an open economy that is uh, an economy which has got connection with the external world the investment component i it is divided into domestic investment which is indicated by id and foreign investment which is indicated by if <coughs> and also this so here um, what you do is i uh, you have to add id plus if so what you get is s <coughs> here so uh, the foreign investment which is if is a difference between the exports and imports of goods and services that is uh, if is equal to x minus m and substituting 2 into 1 we get id plus x minus m is equal to s <coughs> Or else you can write it as id plus x is equal to s plus m. Uh, here, which is the equilibrium condition of national income in an open economy? Here, the foreign trade multiplier coefficient that is indicated by kf is equal to delta y by delta x. That is change in income as a result of change in exports. And delta x is equal to <coughs> delta s plus delta m. Here we can see the remaining derivation. <coughs> Sorry. You can divide delta, uh, divide both the sides by delta y so that the equation would be become delta x by delta y is equal to delta s plus delta m divided by delta y. So that could be written as uh, delta y by delta x is equal to delta y by and uh, delta s plus delta m <coughs> which could again be written as kf is equal to we know that kf is equal to delta y by delta x right so from that we can write as kf is equal to delta y by uh, instead of delta x we are writing delta s plus delta m uh, with this we uh, could uh, understand that uh, kf is equal to 1 by delta s by delta y plus uh, delta m by delta y that could be written as kf is equal to 1 by delta uh, 1 by uh, mps plus mpm you can understand <coughs> this concept with the help of an example so i am giving you an example just assume that your mps is 0.3 and your mpm is 0.2 that is your marginal propensity to save is 0.3 and your marginal propensity to import is 0.2 and uh, your delta x that is your export uh, change that is uh, uh, rupees 1000 crores in this case uh, we have to see the uh, trade multiplier with the equation uh, we have already derived that is kf is equal to delta y by delta x or it's equal to 1 by mps plus mp so just substitute this uh, in the uh, these uh, values in the equation so that we can understand uh, we can get uh, the kf or the foreign trade multiplier that is delta y is equal to 1 by delta 1 by mps plus mpm uh, that is uh, 1 by uh, uh, 1 by uh, 0.3 plus 0.2 we are multiplying this uh, value with what is known as our increase in export so uh, this is uh, 1 by 0.3 plus 0.2 into 1000 the answer is uh, rupees 2000 crores so it shows that an increase in exports by 1000 crores increase your national income to a foreign trade multiplier by 2000 crores given the value of both MPS as well as MPM. That's all for today. You can like, share and subscribe to this channel for more videos and you can be a part of my Telegram channel and Telegram group to discuss your doubts. Thank you for watching.